Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how you can actually enable the right click on desktop to open in terminal um, and I'll be using this in this tutorial um, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can change the IP address of the machine um, it's a lot easier once you set a static IP address and once you've done so um, it means that if you wanted to go ahead and set up port forwarding and other things like that then it's a lot simpler so to do so there is actually two ways you can do it um, this way usually works on most PCs but if for any reason it doesn't work then I'll also be showing you how you can do it through the terminal a little bit later on um, it might even be in a different video so if you wanted to go up to the top and you can see there's two little arrows if you go to edit connections click the wired connection one and click edit if you then go to IPv4 settings and click manual, and then click add, you can type in the IP address um, which you want to give your machine. The subnet mask is normally 255.255.0, and the gateway is the IP address of your router. The DNS server is um, the IP address of the server you want to use for DNS. You can use the same IP address as your router as most of them nowadays have a built-in DNS server or you can use Google's DNS server which I tend to as I find them a little bit more reliable and faster um, and that is 8.8.8.8 .8 and once you've done that you can go ahead and click save and that should work so if you wanted to right click the desktop and click open in terminal and then you can type in if config actually you need to type in sudo if config f0 and then down type in your uh, your password and then if you type in that again but this time type in up then if you then type in if config again should see that the IP address you entered is now there and this is showing you that your computer has now um, recognised that it's got a new IP address and is now running on that IP address. So if you wanted, uh, so once we've got the LAN, um, LAN server sorted, you'll actually be able to access your website or MySQL database um, on that IP address and it should work. You can also then set up a port forward so that if you go on your external IP address, it will then show you your website. If for any reason that didn't work and you wanted to actually um, change this through a different method, you can. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to go to your desktop and click Open Terminal, and then type in sudo get it. So that's G E D I T, and then type in your password. And once you've done that, that should open up a text editor called get it um, once you've done that you can then go to open then you go to file system then etc and then scroll down to network and type in and then find the interfaces um, you should see something similar to what there is here or if you can't find that then you can um, actually type it in um, should be auto eth zero, then i first eth zero i net static. Make sure you type everything in correctly, and then type in address, and then the address you want to give it. Our right address. Then the address you want to give it, so I'll be giving it 10.0.0.150. The net mask is pretty much always the same, which is 255.255.255.0. Um, and the gateway, which is the IP address of your router. Save. 
going on just that again you want to go ahead and click sudo get it again so you can open it up and this time we'll be editing a different thing um, so if you go to file system and then go back down to etc and then right at the bottom there should be a resolve dots.conf so if you look at that and you can then change your name server to whatever you want it to be and um, you can set the same IP address as your router or you can use something else like Google's DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 once in that click save and then type in sudo if config and then f zero down and what I'll do is I'll take the ethernet um, interface down and once you um, go ahead and type in the next command which is sudo if config eth zero up and that should then bring it back up and it should have then loaded all the change you've made so to view them you can go to if config and that should show you that the IP address has changed so um, I, I hope this video has helped um, I know when I first did it um, I did it on a virtual machine and when you tried to do it through the previous method it didn't work whereas when I did it through this it worked um, so as I said I hope this works if it hasn't then please feel free to um, comment below and I'll see if I can help you out if there's anything else you want to know you do then again let us know and I'll do my best um, please make sure to like and subscribe it, it always helps because if it is helping you then it means that other people can find the video easier and that it will help them out more and if you don't like it then go ahead and click dislike and say why and I'll try and make it better in future so thank you very much and hopefully I'll see you in the next video